Tony, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Wade. Don't don't worry. Uh, what what you got there, Tony? Uh, can I have this? No, you can't have that one. No, sir. Can I at least learn how it was made? Absolutely, I can talk you through that. So Tony, the way that they machine this, this is actually done in a couple of different uh, operations. So they roughed out a blank form actually on a Maltus. So they made a round ball out of steel on a Maltus, and then it goes into this machine and they do it in two different operations. This was programmed in Hypermill. So all the five axis machine movements was a Hypermill part program that they use. So they machine an OPT-10, then they flip it over and they machine the OPT-20. So this machine is our Genos M565AX. It's our five axis version of our very popular Genos mill. Um, the Genos mill is our most popular selling machine in North America. Um, so it's, it's a phenomenal machine. It's got a lot of stability because of the axis layout. The X axis is overhead. Trunnions are fully supported. This trunnion has, uh, it's driven on the uh, operators. You're standing at the operator control side and it's got a support bearing, a large support bearing on the other end. So our trunnion's fully supported. It's a 500 millimeter table. Um, so it's got a lot of working range. 15,000 RPM spindle. So it's got 199 Newton meters of torque. So got a lot of RPM to get us into doing this type of work, but also the power. So we can machine stainless titanium uh, all the way to aluminum and, and other non-ferrous metals. So it's really a phenomenal machine for this type of work. You are spot on on all of that. There is nothing else for me to add. I'm a little bit sad I couldn't borrow it, but I'm really happy to have learned all of that, Wade. You are incredible. And also, I see why this is the most popular machine, along with so many other great Akuma products. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little bit at the beginning and then stayed a little longer so Wade could educate me on why I could not have it.